Hey guys, welcome back to the channel, and we are back on WWE Champions. Uh, it has been a while since I've uploaded videos um, due to a lot of personal stuff that's been going on in my life. Those of you who know me know pretty much all about it. Um, thank you for all those who have supported me. You guys know who you are. Big shout out to uh, Mr. Bellamy and Ninja Prime. You guys got me through some hard times. Thank you very, very much. Um, now let's just uh, jump in here and have a look. It is great to be back, guys. It is New Year's Eve here in lovely Melbourne, Australia. And I'm just chilling, taking it easy, having a bit of fun. Uh, let's have a look at my roster. We'll see what's going on and whatnot. Uh, okay, as you can see, I've only got just over 1.5 million roster, but I am free to play, so um, I'll usually do two pulls a year. I'll normally do some pulls with some birthday money I get and some Christmas money. Apart from that, I am free to play, guys. Uh, I am, let's just go back here, I am League 18, nearly all done. Um, Hopefully should be able to knock out the Faction Feud, the Limited Tours, and Gauntlets in the next month or two. That's the plan I'm sticking with anyway at the moment. Uh, roster Talent, Bobby Lashley, uh, Hogan, which I was lucky enough, as you can see here, I did get his gear for, so... That will help, that's why I'm uh, half tempted to take Hogan to go. Um, Hogan just needs some levels and coins, that's fine. Uh, Bobby Lashley Steamboat will be going gold, uh, probably in the next month or two. Um, just need coins put into them. Now, a lot of you guys, I know you're probably getting a giggle out of Samoa Joe and Titus uh, keep in mind I am free to play and they were the options I had at the time and I took them and while it might not have been pretty all the time they definitely got the job done for me but uh, at the moment we'll just go through who I'm building and taking where so Lashley, Hogan and Dragon will be gold uh, Mickey James I'll get up to gold. Zombie Mankind's an interesting one. I love playing this card. Uh, huge shout out to Merrix who uh, explained a lot more of how to use Mankind a lot better to me the other day on one of his streams. Thank you very much, Merrix. So Mankind will be going gold. Um, Mickey Ash will be going gold uh, probably not gold but at least 5 star at some stage uh, no one in my 4 star golds I'm really rushing at the moment they're all sort because I've got so many other projects I'm working on so let's uh, scroll down until we find one uh, and actually all the icons I'll be working on for all their nice little promoter bonuses. You guys know all about that. Um, a lot of guys need to be leveled and girls for their trainer and coach abilities. But we'll get there slowly. Uh, let's have a look. No one I'm super keen on building down here at the moment. China, China will be getting pushed really hard in the next month or two as will Randy Orton uh, China will probably stop at 5 star silver whereas Orton will be hitting the 5 star gold uh, Zombie Kane he will be getting bumped up uh, I'm not sure how far I'll take him but he'll be at least 5 star bronze Batista, another icon of WrestleMania, uh, he'll be one that gets 
taken to the moon. Um, down here, uh, Bam Bam, just cause he's new gen and I have stuff all decent new gen guys, so. Uh, Santa Hogan, we've got to wait for the tokens, but we'll get there slowly and he will definitely be getting pushed as far as the tokens will let me take him. Uh, anyone else down here? That I'm, most of these guys just need um, some TP and levels added to them to get them to their max trainer ability. Uh, hearing great things about Icon Becky at 5 star, so at some stage she will be pushed, but not in a rush at the moment. I'm more worried about getting Orton and China up there for strikers. Um, so that's about all I'm doing with my roster at the moment. Um, actually, we will just jump in quickly. Um, I've been... As you can see, uh, hang on, we'll just put some health packs into him. Uh, my Kofi is only level 1, but I've got him packing a punch, so I'm not in a rush to move him too far at the moment. And if we jump over here, uh, not that one, we'll go here. a 12k Scott Hall who's got all the bells and whistles just to see how he goes um, keep in mind he's only level 1 and I'll show you how I've got Kofi running oh, ok we need to add a trainer here uh, Those moves. Right, so my cope is only level one. Scott Hall is maxed, I believe that's a four star silver. Um have a quick look at my cope because uh got savage create extra gems. Uh, Akam or Razor, whichever one that is, generate more green gems. Hogan creates another gem, and Santa Hogan for more gem damage. So, let's see how he fares against a fully maxed out, someone who's nearly 10k talent above him. See how he goes.
I think I left anyone out. Uh, Mallow, actually. Um, Mallow will be getting pushed uh, some stage after Mankind. Not in a great rush for her. She does fine just where she is. Um, Showstopper, eventually you'll work on him in no rush and Farouk will be getting moved up um but to any free to play players out there like I said if you've got Joe not always pretty but he will get the job done for you and he for a while there it was just Joe and Titus carrying my roster till I got a bit of luck and yeah so Anyway guys, that's it for this video, have a great New Year's Eve wherever you are in the world, and I'll catch you all very soon.